Today on Focal Point, we are going to talk to William Beatty about his experience as a student working in the Department of Photographic Imaging here at the college, student preferences for digital media, and we'll talk to some students about their majors. Stay with us. Hi, welcome to Focal Point on CCP-TV, the Emmy-nominated educational channel of Community College of Philadelphia. I'm Darlene Montz, a student in the Communication Arts Curriculum. I am here with William Beatty, a student who works in the Photographic Imaging Equipment Department here at CCP. Welcome, Will. Thank you. Will, you're part of the Photographic Imaging Department, aren't you? Yes, this is my second semester in the department. Okay, well tell me about your experience. Truthfully, I love it. The faculty, the whole department is really close. We're all, we all play and joke around. We're all serious in class. And one thing I like is all the equipment that is available to us. Whenever we need something, we can guarantee that the department has it and will offer it to the students. What really made you even come to Community College of Philadelphia to even be a student in the mm -hmm. photographic imaging department? What made you come? Well, I started at LaSalle okay. in their digital art department. Mm -hmm. And um, LaSalle is cost about $40,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking at other schools to transfer to because I couldn't afford it, Community College had a photography department, mm -hmm. which LaSalle didn't have a dedicated program for that. Mm -hmm. So that was really a deal breaker for me because okay. it, it's what I really wanted to do. Well, what type of opportunities has it opened for you? Well, it has given me the job of working in the uh, um, in the department. Okay, doing what? Um, running out the equipment and even doing basic things such as keeping it clean. Okay. Yeah, and maintaining How important it. is that? Really important. In Be which way? Well, for one, we want students to come here to see the things that we have and the things that we can offer. Mm -hmm and we want to maintain the facilities too. Okay. Tell me about your instructors, your boss. Well, the instructors, they're, they're great. Okay. The classes are small, about 14 to 20 students. So okay. that's a small class size compared to most colleges. Okay. So when a student needs help, they're able to get that individual attention. And they're able to help students with their projects, recommend equipment for them to check out. Okay. Yeah and it really makes a difference. Well, how exciting is it to be a student worker in the photographic imaging department? It's really exciting because, like I said, I get the chance to, you know, the noodle around with all of the equipment, to learn how it works, and I like learning about new technology, so it's a real big deal for me. Is Community College of Philadelphia up on new technology? Yes, we have equipment that's been released in the past two years, so it's relatively state-of-the-art. Wow. Is equipment available to all students at the college, or do you have to be in a photographic uh, imaging department? You either have to be in the photographic imaging department, either as your major or taking a, um, a shooting course, such as 101 or 152, or as a DVP student. What advice would you have for prospective students looking to join the photographic imaging department. I would tell them don't hesitate to join. If you are not sure if you want to do photography, just sign up for one class. Even our basic class, you'll still get a lot from it. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for being with us, Will, and thank you for your insight on equipment rentals in the photographic imaging department. Now we're going to find out what students prefer more streaming versus physical media. Take a look. I think physical media has um, uh, a bit of more reliability than a streaming service. So when it's coming to movies to watch, I prefer streaming such as Netflix. I prefer to use streaming. I'm constantly on the go. I constantly do things like work, going to school, it's easier to catch up on things if I can just stream it from my phone or my laptop. It's not as much of a hassle. This new generation of age, I would say streaming because I can literally just go on any website and just put all my favorite movies and it's literally right there. Well, there's the advantage of 
Netflix of, of, of streaming media is immediate availability. If you're watching a movie on like a Blu-ray, Blu-rays come with like a bunch of special features like making ofs and commentary tracks. And a movie on Netflix, I mean, you could have the same movie on Netflix and on Blu-ray, and you're not gonna get all the special features on Netflix. You either have to buy stuff, or if you're getting it from the library, you have to wait until it's available. That is not always the case with me, certainly not with movies, because for movies, I go to Redbox, which pretty much gets the stuff pretty much as soon as it goes to DVD. If I'm really invested in a movie, you know, normally if you put a Blu-ray in, it's not gonna skip and uh, you know, it's not gonna uh, stutter just because you lost an internet connection or if it's you know, a weak internet connection. I think the pros to DVDs and CDs is you have them forever. Like, you can't go on Netflix and always have, like, they change the shows out constantly, so if you miss an episode and then the next week it's gone, it's gone, and you have to find a new way to figure it out. The pros of a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu is great because it's a subscription-based service and they offer you a ton of content for the subscription. So you don't have to keep, you don't have to buy every single movie that you want to see. Like you do have to do, like you have to own the Blu-rays, you have to buy every Blu-ray, you have to buy every DVD. With Netflix, you can just stream any movie you want. However, you do lose that extra content that comes with that movie. Uh, the cons of having those DVDs or VHS is that if it breaks, it's gone. There's no more going to the DVD stores or the rent store and just get a new one. If it's scratched, it's messed up. Some of my favorite apps that I use for streaming is Spotify, Trending. I have Netflix and, and Hulu. Um, I have them for different reasons. Hulu runs television programs currently but they don't have as much of, they're not as far back dated. I hardcore use Spotify. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, and I guess Netflix, I use a lot of Netflix. I don't like Hulu as much, it's not as much fun. I use Netflix for a lot of specific content, like um, they have their own original shows and things like that. Um, and they also offer a lot of um, original movies and things like that. So I think if you're trying to catch up on something you missed during the week, Hulu is really great for television. And if you want to see like the latest movie that everyone's talking about, I think Netflix is the way to go. The movie selection of Netflix is, I find, I don't know if it's a matter of my individual taste, but I find it isn't necessarily as wide as one might have been led to believe. I just had this conversation with somebody the other day, Blockbuster is like a thing of the past. It's like it lasted 30 years, now it's gone, it's over and Netflix took over, and I think that that's gonna be a big thing. Yeah, I definitely think that streaming will, will take over the digital platforms, only because that's the new wave and that's what everybody focuses at right now. I don't believe that streaming services will take over physical media, because people love owning things and having a collection and something to hold and show off. Like if you bring someone over to your house and you say, look at all these movies I have. You have like a shelf full of Blu-rays, like, oh wow, you have this? Like, that's great. You know, if you have Netflix and Hulu, you have the same thing everyone else has. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, I try to make the best of both worlds. I mean, they used to say the same thing about the video game industry when, you know, downloading games became a big thing. Suddenly everyone's like, are places like GameStop gonna close? Or, you know, or is FYE gonna go out of business? Kind of, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, is that people still love owning things physically. And that's never going to go away. Having a collection of things is never going to go away. And so um, I think while streaming services are going to become more popular, definitely, um, you know, every day you get new subscribers and things like that. But, but things like Blu-rays and DVDs and even CDs are never going to go away. Now, wasn't that interesting? On a more serious note, let's hear from some CCP students about their majors and what's next after college. My major here is mass media and broadcast journalism. Marketing. Criminal justice. I'm a business administration major. Psychology. Information technology. Business administration. Biology. Business administration. Liberal arts um, into behavioral science. Business administration. 
I chose this major because I like to help people. I like to see what people are thinking, and I like to get into people's minds and see what they're about. I want to start my own company. I want to become a surgeon. My father's an entrepreneur. He has a big company back in Africa, and uh, he needs people to run it. So I want to be able to. I want to be that person to help him run it. I think marketing is a really cool way to get people interested in different things. Um, advertisement is huge, so I kind of want to be in that realm. Computer is computer age. I think there's a lot. Computer is involved in about everything from household, the inner street, public transportation, uh, universities, television, what have you. Computers will be used everywhere, to the space, and that's all. I love hustle, I love numbers, and I love business, so business administration was the one for me. I would just would like to break any barriers that's held against women, especially in the sports field. My mom has an agency and I want to get it bigger, you know, start a franchise for her. I believe that if I have this knowledge so I can fight for my own rights and I fight for others too. I chose to come to CCP because it's a great school. Out of all of the uh, community schools in the area, this is the best one that I saw. The teachers are more understanding. They help you a lot with your work, and then they also have a learning lab that actually helps you with what you understand, what you don't understand. It's a good school overall. At first, I came from a four-year institution. It wasn't a good fit, and I had already lived in Philadelphia, so I decided to come to CCP. It's much cheaper than other universities or colleges. A lot of people don't realize that the professors that work at Temple on their off days they work at they work at CCP and it's a pretty much cheaper school for the same professors that you get at Temple or Drexel or any other Ivy League school. Interesting. Well that's it for today. I want to thank my guests William Beatty and the viewers for tuning in. You have been watching Focal Point, the Community College of Philadelphia magazine show on CCP-TV, the Emmy-nominated educational channel of Community College of Philadelphia. All segments for Focal Point are produced by the students in the digital video production curriculum. I'm Darlene Mutz, a student in the Communication Arts Curriculum here at CCP. See you next time. <laughs>